Hi everyone. I look for a lot of the different secrets and mysteries from all around the world, looking for the coming of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, Emmanuel, the Son of God, who was risen from the dead and took all the sins of the world away. Now the world elite, the Illuminati, the Freemasons, and even the spiritual realms that are all around us, they leave their signs and secrets right in front of us, in symbolism. And on our channel, we bring all this back to the Word of God and show how we're nearing the end of days. Today we are going over to Mars, and we're going to take a look. Many people have found different pyramids and things on Mars. On our channel, we show how all of the universe is created by God, and it's going right by the Bible. And that means there is a giant rebellion going on from the fallen angels and what's known as the Builders. In the Bible, the Builders have rejected Jesus. The Builders are considered to be like the Freemasons, the Illuminati, and Egypt, just as with the pyramid on the dollar bill. Okay? Just as when from Abraham to Jesus went to Egypt, and Moses had to come out from underneath the burdens of Egypt, we are all still trapped underneath this, all of us. See the pyramid right there on the dollar bill? It's known as the burdens of Egypt. This represents the builders, all of our presidents. Even President Trump, who calls himself a builder. Just as Donald Trump says, I am the builder president. The stone that the builders rejected became the cornerstone. Jesus is rejected by the builders. They want to go through death. They have a deal with death. See this skull and bones right here? We're going to show this on Mars. Is that there? See death? They have a deal with death. The judgment of Ephraim. The cornerstone that the builders rejected. Because ye have said we have made a covenant with death, and with hell are we agreement. They have made a deal with death and hell. It's right there in the Bible. A covenant with death and hell. Jesus will break that covenant, and your covenant with death shall be disannulled, and your agreement with hell shall not stand, when the cornerstone Jesus comes to for Zion. See it all right there? So that's what's going on, the builders. Lies are their refuge. They just lies. And it doesn't matter about Republican or Democrat. Obama was part of this also. Obama has direct connections to Egypt of Akhenaten. Many show that this represents Obama, part of the Sphinx. So this Egyptian glyph right here showing the end times coming. And here's the beast looking like a clown. See him coming down with the key? He's right there on the cover of the Illuminati, the top of the pyramid on the dollar bill. That's the satanic figure. We will show him on Mars, mapped out by God. The pyramids are all part of this, the transfer of the souls and going through the realm of the dead. It's like the Book of the Dead. So we can see that there. Well, we show how all of the worlds are mapped out this way. And here is the USA and Washington, D.C. This is the throne of Abraham, Abraham Lincoln. That's where Satan is sitting right now. You can see down here what's considered to be the woman of the Bible and the nuclear football ready to be kicked. And 50. That represents that guy. Part of the fifth angel from the bottomless pit. And this represents the CERN Large Hadron Collider, meant to open doors, maybe to Mars. See it all right there? And here comes the Satan character from off of the throne of the world. That is their God. Him. Right there, like a vampire. There he is right there, seeing the V and the five death to cross over death they don't want Jesus in the middle this even has a lot to do with Great Britain 
and the woman riding the beast of the merry warship and Queen Elizabeth. Do you see the big clock? The grandfather clock? Big Ben. Just like the Big Ben clock. And the tribe of Benjamin has the same curse as Ephraim with a deal with death. The deal to cross over death. See, Big Ben will get them across instead of Jesus. They don't want Jesus to get them across. They want the tribe of Benjamin and Ephraim because they have a deal with death. And we can see it comes down to the pyramids, just like on the dollar bill. So let's head over towards Mars and show this same guy over there by the pyramids representing death. Him. So now we are on Mars. See right here. Mars. It talks of in the Bible, in the book of Acts 2.17, of people like myself and billions of others waking up near the end times and showing signs in the heavens and on the earth. We are all waking up. You too. All of us. The big thing is don't, don't be in a hurry. That doesn't mean that everything's going to happen right now. It could be a really long time or it could be soon. That's up to God. But the first thing is once you start to wake up, you think it's all going to happen today or tomorrow or the next day. It, it could be a lifetime or it could be very quickly. All of the signs show that we are in the birthing pains. We're near the end which means we are near the beginning of the forever kingdom of Jesus Christ. We are really near the beginning of everything forever. Can you see the pyramid right there? And you notice that it's at the same three pyramids. One, two, three, with a line and one just a little bit off center, exactly as the pyramids in Egypt. The same as the pyramids of Egypt. Even the Sphinx is in the Bible of Revelation 13. Part of the beast out of the sea and the beast out of the earth. Saw a beast rise up out of the sea having seven heads and ten horns. Was like unto a leopard his feet the feet of a bear and his mouth the mouth of a lion the sphinx that's all part of that beast and it comes all the way back down to our dollar bill which is the money for the whole world you see the three pyramids take your time two three here is death sitting right here looking at it Give you a chance to see if you can see it. That guy. See him right there? Skull and bones. He's known as like the skeleton man. There he is right there. Can you see him looking right at the three pyramids right there? Keep faith through all of this. Don't let this stuff scare you. Think of all the hard work that Jesus is actually doing to defeat all of this. We are in a universal war. It is real. Time is one of the hardest things to deal with these guys. Because they live longer than we do in our flesh. They just like to outlive us. But we're nearing the end now with Jesus coming to defeat them all and to break their covenant with death. Confess with your mouth the Lord is Jesus. Believe in your heart God hath risen him from the dead and you'll be saved. Hallelujah. That is the exact same guy that we mapped out sitting in Washington on the throne of the world fighting Jesus Christ. 
it does not matter what president you get he will be working for this guy he controls all world leaders all of the Vatican Islam Buddhism Mary worship the only thing he doesn't control is Jesus Christ and that's the only way this is a battle of universal scale confess with your mouth the Lord is Jesus believe in your heart God hath risen him from the dead and you'll be saved hallelujah thank you very much everybody I'll see you at the wedding feast of the Lamb these people believe in lies do not forget that Satan is the prince of liars he teaches them all to lie the same with Trump the same with Obama the same with the Vatican because ye have said we have made a covenant with death and with hell for we have made lies our refuge and under falsehood have we hid ourselves lies every world ruler of all countries of all nations works for that guy that's what it says in the Bible and that Jesus will defeat them all. Thank you very much, everybody. I'll see you at the wedding feast of the Lamb. And may God have mercy on us all. Hallelujah.